back in the OR again today. My favorite place. We already talked about how the OR works. And about what's in it. We didn't talk much about our team. We work with some pretty cool people in the OR, so I thought I'd introduce you to them. Today, we're going to be talking to two of my favorite nurses. One is a scrub nurse in the operative team, and one is a circulating nurse. They do a lot of hard work around here. We couldn't get the surgery done without them. I'll ask them some questions, and you can listen in. Is that okay with you? Okay, let's go. What's your name and your role in the OR? My name is Michelle, and I'm in charge of an operator. So I uh, get supplies, make sure the surgeon has everything that he needs, organize the staff, and the supplies for the My name is Ann Burge, and I'm a registered nurse uh, in the operator. What's your role in the OR team? So the circulating nurse, what they do is you set up the, set up the scrub team, make sure they have all the supplies they need, and interoperably if they need more supplies, and the circulating nurse has to go out and get them. The circulating nurse also um, helps with anesthesia, with intubation, if the, any of this needs uh, medications or, for example, blood or volume and some tissues that can make blood expanders and it's something that the nurse wants to go and get this. That's a lot. Okay, so the OR usually has uh, three nurses in a room for each case and um, each nurse actually usually takes turns scrubbing and circulating. And uh, so when I'm in the scrubbing role, uh, my job is to What's a typical day for you like? The day varies because every day I'm working with a different surgeon. It's always a different team. Um, as well as you look at your day and oh, we've got four or five. You think of it as big routine cases, but there truly is never one thing that is routine. There's always something different. It starts out and we generally have a list of elective surgeries to do. And um, so one of our pushes is to get the job done and get the, the, the cases done. So um, we're all about efficiency. We start out, we have our, our little brief meeting with the team uh, for two or three minutes, discuss what we're going to do throughout the day, and then we start assigning roles. So if I'm assigned to the scrub role, then the first thing I'll do is I'll start scrubbing uh, my, my hands to become sterile, and then uh, gown myself and start setting up my sterile field. What's your role during an operation? So what we do is we initially get all of the things that we need that we set up for the case and um, throughout the case one of our major jobs is to anticipate what the surgeon's going to need next or um, what he may need in the future that hasn't even been asked for so that we have it ready to go. So I'm talking about things like um, making sure that he has staplers ready or equipment pliers or anything that we need for hemostasis. Um, just kind of keeping one step ahead of the whole thing. Uh, our major job is to really listen to what's going on and pay attention to the surgery because the more that we know about the actual anatomy and pathology and uh, sorry anatomy and pathophysiology uh, the more we can anticipate the needs of the surgeon. Um, one of our other roles is to also monitor the, the rest of the surgical team, uh, the medical students and residents um, accompany us on the field, make sure that everybody is maintaining the proper standard. What's the best part about being an OR nurse? I think it's because like your job, um, I could never sit at, at a desk and just sit and do a day job that would just drive me nuts. Um, this is very active. And sometimes it's extremely active, sometimes you literally are running your feet off. But but it's good. Like it's it's busy, it's very you have to think, uh, you're thinking on your feet. because uh, things just change. What makes an effective OR team? Communication is key. Um, everyone like there's always, if it's example in a time of a crisis, someone has to be in control, and so that generally is a surgeon, and that's why I tell you all, no operating staff is when things are getting out of control, try not to panic. That's a surgeon's job. I think that probably the most important thing is kind of critical thinking skills, um, being able to anticipate and, and uh, um, be able to be monitoring and, and making decisions on your feet, um, and I. And They often say that OR nurses have five sets of ears and eyes in the back of their head because we hear and see everything. And uh, but that's an attractive part of it. You're sort of chewing gum and walking at the same time. 
Do you have any tips for med students new to the operating room? Uh, don't touch anything. <laughs> don't go anywhere. <laughs> no. um, I think the biggest tip I would have is um, make friends with the nurses that they are because they are your best friend. Um, we often seem like we're mothering you, but actually we're just trying to mentor you and, and, and what we're doing is in the best interest of the patient. So if we're telling you to move here, there, everywhere, it's, because, it's for the patient's sake. It's not just because we like to work people around. So just be friends with the, with the nurses and uh, ask us some questions because everybody in the OR is more than willing. Just listen to direction from, from the nurse. Like for us, you want y'all want you uh, to stay back in this sterile field. Um, we need help with the patient transfer, uh, removing, uh, taking out the stretcher or bringing in the stretcher when the, when the case is done. And just take your direction from the nurses. That, that's pretty much it. Okay, so now you know a little bit more about the role of the nurse in the OR. I hope all the people you work with are as cool as our nurses.